Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meesh uh, once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problem sum based on EVA that is economic value added and MVA that is market value added under the chapter shareholders value and corporate governance under the subject strategic financial management. In this video, we are going to cover up each and every type of sum. This is, this is a complete video based on EVA and MVA. Okay, here we are going to cover up five different varieties of sums that can come uh, in the exam. Again, a very important video for all the SEM6 students of TYBMS. Okay, because uh, this video will cover up not only uh, the various types of sum which can be asked, but also for each type, what format and what formula you need to use. So let us see one by one. But before starting, first we will note down, you know, the formula of calculating EVA. And thereafter, we'll start one by one different types of sums that can come where they will ask you to calculate the EVA and MVA. So first thing, let us first note down the value of uh, the formula of EVA. EVA full form is economic value added. The formula for EVA is net operating profit after tax minus capital employed into cost of capital. So now no matter whatever type of sum will be asked, this is it. This is the final formula for calculating EVA. There will be different ways in order to calculate these values, but the values will be incorporated in this single formula only. Okay, so I want everyone to see that I'll note down this particular formula. EVA is equal to net operating profit after tax minus capital employed into cost of capital. Okay, now let us see the very first type of sum that will be asked. Number one, when income statement and balance sheet is given. Okay, so in your question, if they are giving you any income statement and balance sheet, then what are the formulas that you'll have to keep in mind? Okay, so always remember whenever income statement and balance sheet is given, they will ask you to find EVA as well as MVA. Okay, so these are the formulas and steps that you need to note down. First, always you'll have to find out net operating profit after tax. So the formula for that is the format is sale, less manufacturing expense, less administrative expense, less selling and distribution expense and less depreciation. When you less all these from sales, you will get net operating profit before tax. Less tax will give you net operating profit after tax. That is the very first value that you need to find. Second, you need to find capital employed. Cap capital employed the formula is equity plus preference share plus reserves plus debt. When you add up your debt and equity, you get capital employed. And third, we have cost of capital, which can be solved with the help of a table where you'll have source, amount, weight, cost, and WACC, that is weighted average cost of capital. This you all will understand much better once we start the sum and very use it in the sum, okay? And one last formula which you'll require for calculating EVA is KD, that is cost of debt, which is interest into one minus tax. So all these things will be required to solve and get the value of EVA. So I want everyone to see that you'll note down all these steps and formulas. The second thing is we need to find MVA. MVA is nothing but market value added. The formula for that is market value added is equal to market capitalization minus book value of net worth. Market capitalization for the formula is number of equity share into MPS. MPS is nothing but earning per share into PE and EPS ka formula will be net profit after tax minus preference dividend upon number of equity shares. So again, you see that you all note down these formulas. Now using these two slides, whatever we have noted on the steps and formula, let us see how to solve the sum based on income statement and balance sheet. Okay, we'll start with the very first type of sum. Okay, now this is the very first type when income statement and the balance sheet will be given. Okay, and they will ask us to find the value of EVA and MVA that is economic value added and market value added. Okay, now if you can see the question is given that uh, the income statement and balance sheet of AIMS Limited is given below. Uh, they are giving you sales, they are giving you all the expenses, EBIT, EBT, tax, okay, and price earning ratio. And then they are giving you one balance sheet, liabilities and assets and various liabilities and assets are given. After that, they're giving you an adjustment. The cost of equity is 12% and the cost of debt is 10%. And they are given that the company's tax uh, is at 30% and from the above information, 
the eva uh, find the eva and also find mva based on the basis of market value of equity capital okay so now here basically they are asking us to find both the things that are eva and mva okay now we have already discussed uh, various formulas that we will require to use it now remember eva ka formula is net operating profit after tax minus capital employed into cost of capital so i need those three things so in order to get those three things what we'll have to do is we'll so start finding one by one values and then we'll inculcate all of them in our final answer okay so always remember in order to find eva the very first step okay the very first step will be we need to find net operating profit after tax so we need to first find net operating profit after tax step number 1 okay the the format is we need for sales now in the question they have given you sales 500 so i will to, i will note down that as 500 less manufacturing expense admin expense selling expense less depreciation this is as per the format okay so less we'll write here manufacturing expense which is 180 so negative 180 less administrative expense i'll write here admin expense which is 60 less selling expense okay which is given in the question as 50 and less depreciation depreciation given is as 30 okay so 500 minus all these values okay whatever answer you will get is nothing but your net operating profit before tax So 500 minus 180 minus 60 minus 50 minus 30 will give you 180 less tax. Since it is before tax, less tax. Now tax is at 30 percent. So 180 का 30 percent is 54. I will subtract it, and whatever answer I will get is nothing but my net operating profit after tax, which comes to 126. And now the entire sum is in crores. So 100 and uh, it's in lakhs. So 126 lakhs. Okay, that's just step number one. Step number two, we need to find capital employed. Now capital employed ka format was is basically nothing but equity plus debt. Okay, whatever equity, whatever debt is available in the question, when you add up, that is nothing but a capital employed. So now in the question, I can see there is equity in the liability side. I can see there is equity capital. So I write that equity. Uh, the value is hundred. There is retained earnings. So I'll add, even add that. So our retained earning is eighty, and there is ten percent long term loan. So we have ten percent term loan, which amounts to two hundred. When you add up to three three hundred and eighty, so our capital employed is three hundred and eighty. step number 1 we got the in uh, you know non net operating profit after tax we got the capital employed third very important we need to find cost of capital okay now in order to find cost of capital okay we'll have to create a small you know working table okay so here basically we will be finding something called as WACC or also known as weighted average cost of capital. We will have sources. We'll have something called as an amount. We'll have weights. We'll have the cost, and lastly, we'll have the weighted average cost of capital. <coughs> okay. Now, the very first thing is source. Source meaning whatever is available in capital employed. I had equity. I had retained earnings, and I have ten percent loan. That's my sources. Next column will be amount. So that's hundred eighty and two hundred. The total of which is three hundred and eighty. Now from here we be careful, okay. Now the next thing is we need to find the weights. Now in order to find the weight, the logic is very simple. 
each and every amount which is available divided by the total so 100 divided by 380 80 divided by 380 200 divided by 3 we are trying to find the ratio basically so 100 divided by 380 we get approximately 2.263 uh, 80 divided by 380 will be 0 0.211 and 200 divided by 380 is 0 0.526 always remember when you add up all these three values of weight the weight should always be one okay like, like it's like the total hundred percent next is cost now in the adjustment it is given that the cost of equity is 12 so I'll write this as 12 percent and cost of debt is 10 percent okay this is 12 percent if equity is 12 even retain earning will come at the same percentage at the cost of equity now for loan this is the most important part if they have given you cost of debt and if there is tax involved in the question okay now you can see there is a tax of 30 percent in the question and if they haven't mentioned anything about the debt percentage we'll always have to find cost of debt using a formula kd is equal to interest minus one or into uh, sorry interest into one minus tax so your cost of debt was 10 percent so i'll take this interest as 10 into one minus tax rate tax was 0 0.30 so this will become basically 10 into 0 0.7 which comes to seven percent okay always remember cost of debt when they have given you and there is also tax involved in it unless they haven't mentioned anything about it it will always be you know the interest minus the tax rate okay so we get this as seven percent i'll write it as seven percent last is weighted average cost of capital that is nothing but weight multiplied by the cost so when i multiply 0 0.263 into 12 i will get the value as 3.156 0 0.211 into 12 will come to 2.532 approx 0 0.526 into 7 will give you 3.682 when i add up that is nothing but my cost of capital ka total or weighted average cost of capital 9.37 percent okay Chalo. now i needed three values we have got it now i can find i can apply into the final formula eva EVA is equal to net operating profit after tax minus capital employed into you know cost of capital so I can write a cost person so in our case the net operating profit after tax was 180 sorry it is net operating after tax is 126 minus capital employed was 380 and cost percentage that is nothing but cost of capital is 9.37 percent okay so 126 of 380 multiplied by 9.37 percent you will get a value whatever value you get you minus it 126 okay so if i multiply i should get something like 126 in minus 35.606 okay when you multiply 380 into 9.37 percent you subtract it and that's your final answer rupees 90.394 that's my economic value added that's the first part of the sum where they ask you to find eva okay now we need to jump and find out the second for you know the second thing that is mva so if I'm, i can say from here this this is the first part where they ask us to find the EVA okay now in order to find MVA the formula is market capitalization minus book value of net worth okay so what we will do here is first we need to find the value of market capitalization and for market capitalization we need number of equity share into market price okay MPS now in order to find MPS we need EPS also so what we do here is step by step we'll solve first thing we find EPS earning per share formula is net profit after tax minus preference dividend upon number of equity share okay now net profit after tax if you look into the question is given as 119 okay it's given as 119 
Preference dividend, there's no preference share, so it will be 0 upon number of shares. Now it's given a share as 100 of 10 each, so when you divide it, I get 10. So 119 divided by 10, so my earning per share is 11.9. That's first thing. So after finding EPS, we'll find second thing, MPS. MPS is nothing but EPS into price earning. Now EPS was 11.9. Price earning is given in the question in the income statement. The last value, the last value has been given as 2. So my price earning is 2. We multiply it and we get the value as 23.8. So market price also we have got. Earning per share also we have got. Now we can find market capitalization. So market capitalization ka formula is number of shares. into MPS so I get number of shares as 10 lakhs into MPS is 23.8 we multiply we get the value as 238 now remember this is everything is in lakhs okay last thing the main formula MVA is equal to market capitalization minus book value of net worth okay market capitalization we already found 238 now how will we find book worth okay or book value of net worth the net worth meaning your equity fund your source of capital so that's equity and retain together so equity was 100 retain in is 80 so when you add up i get net worth as 180 so 238 minus 180 your final answer will be of mva that will be rupees 58 now this is in lakhs so lakhs and your eva was 90.394 again this was in lakhs okay so this is how you'll have to solve uh, the sum based on ev and mba when they are giving you the income statement and the balance sheet okay i hope everyone have understood this is the very first type of sum which is there in your syllabus okay now let us see a different variation in the question if there is some different variation so let us see how to solve that The second type of sum will be based on when sales is not given and profit after tax is given. So when sales is not given and profit after tax is given, let us see what is the formula, what is the format that you require to note down. So when sales is not given and net profit after tax is given, the format that you will require to make is you need to first note down net operating profit before interest and tax. Less interest will give you net profit before tax. Less tax will give you net profit after tax. And you need one more formula, net operating profit before interest and tax minus tax gives you net operating profit after tax. So these are the two formats you will require when sales is not given and net profit after tax is given in order to find EVA. Okay, now let us see how you can use these format in order to get the value of EVA. Okay, now let us see the second type of sum which can come when there is no sales given to us and instead of that they have given you something called as profit after tax. Okay, there is nothing related to income statement, nothing related to balance sheet. Okay, they, they have given you some debt equity ka values and they have given you profit after tax and interest. Okay, so how to solve such kind of sum? Okay, listen to this very carefully. First step again in order to find EVA. Okay, we will require net operating profit after tax, we require capital employed and we need a cost of capital. The formula will remain same. Okay, now first we will just read the question once and then we will see how we go about with this question. Okay, um, calculate the EVA from the following data for the year ended 31st March. They are giving you average debt, average equity, cost of debt post tax that is after tax, uh, cost of equity, profit after tax and interest. Okay. So let us see how to solve such kind of sum. Step number one, we need net operating profit after tax. But we cannot use, since sales is not given, so now we'll, we'll have to create another uh, a format. Okay, so remember this format now. First, we'll always start net operating profit before tax, less interest gives you net profit before tax, less tax will give you net profit after tax 
Now this is the formula that formula uh, format that we all know. Okay. Now in the question they have given you net profit after tax as fifteen point four one, and this all values are in crores. Okay. So I write this value as fifteen point four one. Okay. Now since the very first step, what we have to find is some similar kind of sum when it is given. We only need to first find net operating profit before tax. Okay. So we'll have to go in reverse order. The moment we go in reverse order, whatever minus is there, it will become plus. Okay. So you have to remember that part. So uh, since this is fifteen point four one, now in the question they haven't given us any tax. So I'll write this as tax is nil. So fifteen point four one plus nothing gives you again fifteen point four one. Okay. Interest interest is given to us in the question as six crores, so I'll put the six here. Since it's minus again, when I go in reverse order, it will become add. So fifteen point four one plus six will be twenty one point four one. Okay, that's in crores. That is net operating profit before tax. Now, once I get net operating profit before tax, less tax will give you net operating profit after tax, which I require. So twenty one point four one. This is over. Okay, minus tax. In this sum, there wasn't tax. If tax, then we would have subtracted. So in this sum, my net operating profit after tax is twenty one point four one crores. Step number one, I got my uh, net operating profit after tax. Second, I need to get the capital employed. So I'll write here capital employed. Capital employed is nothing but debt to equity ratio. So in the question, they are giving me average debt and average equity. Okay, the average equity value given to me in the question is twenty-seven point six six crores. So I write there as twenty-seven point six six crores, and the debt is a fifty crores. When we add up, we get the value as seventy-seven point six six crores. Okay. Step one, we got the net operating profit after tax. Second, capital employed. Third, we need to find cost of capital. Now, for cost of capital, remember we have to create a format, okay, a tabular format, in order to find the weighted average cost of capital. So we will create one small table. The columns will be very simple. I'll have something called as sources. I'll have their amounts. I'll have their weights. I'll have their cost, and I'll have my weighted average cost of capital. Once I get that. After that, I just have to apply into the formula and get the final answers. Okay, so first is sources. In order to find the sources, you have to look at capital employed. In this, we have equity and we have debt. Next column is amount. Equity amount is twenty seven point six six. Debt is fifty. So the total amount is seventy seven point six six crores. Okay, I have sources. I have my amount. My next column will be weights. Okay, weight me amount divided by total. So twenty seven point six six divided by seventy seven point six six. You get approximately zero point three six. Fifty divided by seventy seven point six six. You will get up approximately zero point six four. The total has to always be one. Next is cost. Okay. Now in the question they have given us cost of equity as fourteen percent and cost of debt post tax. This is after tax. Since it is after tax, we don't have to do anything. We can directly take the value as twelve percent. Okay. Last thing we need WACC. So zero point three six into fourteen. When you multiply that, you will get the value as five point zero four percent. And 0.64 into 12 will be 7.68 percent. When you add up, that will be a weighted average cost of capital, which comes approximately 7.2. I mean, 12.72 percent. We first found net operating profit. We found capital employed. We found cost of capital. I can use the formula of EVA, that is net operating profit after tax minus capital employed. Into cost of capital. So net operating profit was twenty one point four one. Okay, which we have found in our first step. 
minus capital employed is 77.66 into cost of capital which was 12.72 percent okay so this will be 21.41 77.66 into 12.72 percent we give you approximate 9.89 you subtract it and we get the final answer as rupees 11.53 crores okay in crores the value is so we can write that in cr okay so this is how you all had to solve some when they haven't given you sales and they are giving you directly profit after tax okay so we first find this you use this format find uh, net operating profit before tax less tax will give you after tax that's step number one second capital employed third cost of capital once you get all the three value apply into the formula and we'll be able to easily solve the sum okay so this is how you all had to solve the second type of sum when sales is not given and profit of after tax is given so i hope everyone have understood this how to solve such kind of sum now we will be going ahead and try to find another type okay if you have another variation in the sum how to solve the sum so let us see that okay the third type consists when project life is given if in the question you have something called as a project life then let us see how to solve the sum where you, they will ask you to find EBA when project life is given. So here it is a basically a tabular format sum. Okay. So for that you need to know on this format. Okay. When project life is given, you'll have particulars and you'll have number of years. So that number of years can be three years, four years, five years, depending on the question. The format will be annual return or revenue minus annual cost minus depreciation will give you net operating profit before tax. Less tax will give you net operating profit after tax. Next, you need to find the capital employed and cost of capital percent. You will multiply it, we get a second value. And finally, EVA will be A minus V, that is nothing but net operating profit after tax minus capital employed into cost of capital. Same thing, formula way, but we are going to use this in tabular method now. So let us see how to use this particular tab, uh, in a, uh, a tablet method uh, using an actual sum. Okay, now let us see how to solve the third type of sum under this topic EVA when they have given you project life in the question. Okay, now if you look at the question, uh, Navneet Limit is considering a capital project for which the following information is available uh, investment outlay, project life, salvage value, annual revenue, annual cost, depreciation, tax rate, debt to equity ratio, uh, cost of equity, and cost of debt. All these things have been given to us. Okay, now let us see how to solve such kind of sum. Whenever project life is given, this is how your format should be of your question. Okay, so I, I have already created a predefined format because now in the question, if you can see your project life is of four years. So we will have to create a, a tabular format where we'll write, this is my particulars. And we have four years. So I'll write here year one. We have year two. The third year and year number four okay the step one the very first heading will always be annual revenue okay in normal term it's basically like a sales okay now if you can look in the question they're giving you uh, annual revenue is two lakh fifty thousand so in all the five years we will write the value as two lakh fifty thousand Okay, that's step number one. Second, less. We will minus our annual cost from here. So annual cost, if you can look carefully in the questions, again, annual cost excluding debt and interest and tax is 60,000. So 60,000 from all, you know, in all the four years. So we noted on 60,000 in all the four years. Since it is less, we'll put it in, in brackets. Step next, uh, less depreciation. Now, if you look carefully, they are giving you depreciation is straight line. It's given on straight line method. Okay, now how to find depreciation? Very simple. The outlay, what is the investment value? The investment value is 2 lakhs. There is no scrap value and the life is of four years. So 2 lakh divided by 4, our depreciation value will come to 50,000. So less 50,000. 
in all the columns it will be 50,000 okay so annual revenue minus annual cost minus depreciation okay I'll just make a line here so we will after subtracting the value that what we will be getting will be known as net operating profit before tax so 2 lakh 50 minus 1 lakh 10 will be 1 lakh 40 in all the four years since it is before tax I'll write next less tax the, in the question they are giving you 30% tax so 1 lakh 40 ka 30% is 42,000 so 42,000 in each case okay when you subtract you get uh, we will get our very first value that is net operating profit after tax that's the very first step in always in order to find EVA okay okay we will get our first value net operating profit after tax so 1 lakh 40 minus 42 is 98,000 so in all the four cases it was 98,000 that's my answer number A that is the very first thing second now we need to get next part so that's capital employed now for here this is very important okay Capital employed is the value of investment that you had made. So in the very first year, the investment value was 2 lakhs. That's the original value which is given. Now, from 2 lakhs, in the first year, the depreciation is 50,000. So my next year, the value of my investment will be only be 1,50,000. So you're going to gradually deduct your depreciation every year. Okay. So 2 lakh minus 50,000 is 1,50,000. 1,50,000 minus 50 is 1 lakh. And 1 lakh minus 50 is 50,000. That's my capital employed. This is the very important. Whatever is the value of depreciation every year, that thing will get deducted from your original value. Next is cost of capital. Now, in order to find cost of capital, we need to find cost of capital. So, we'll have to create another table. Cost of capital. Okay. The format is very simple. Sources. Now, in our question, in our question, they are given you debt to equity ratio. Okay, if you can look carefully, there's debt to equity ratio of 2 is to 3. So, I'll write there as debt to equity. So, my sources are debt and equity. Now, let us see how to get the amount. The ratio is 2 is to 3 and the total investment is 2 lakhs. Since investment is 2 lakhs, ratio is 2 is to 3. So, 2 lakh into 2 divided by 5 gives you 80,000. So, we found the value of 80. So, remaining will be 1 lakh 20,000 as my equity. Total amount comes to 2 lakhs. We divided in the ratio 2 is to 3. Okay. Now, if I want to find the weight. So, 80,000 upon 2 lakhs. The next column will be weights. That comes to 0 0.4 and 0 0.6. Cost percent. Okay, or the cost person. Now, equity, ka, they have already given us cost of equity is 18%. So, I'll write that as 18% for my equity. Cost of debt is given in the question as uh, 10%. But now, in this, tax is also available. So, since tax is given, I'll have to find KD. Okay, since tax is given, I'll have to find the value of KD. So, I'll, I'll do the working here. Okay. Cost of debt will be interest into 1 minus tax, which comes to 10 minus tax was 30%. So, uh, it will become 1 minus 30 is 0 0.7, which comes to 7%. So, my cost of debt in the sum would be 7%. I multiply last WACC. So, four, 0 0.4 into 7 would give me 2.8 and 0 0.6 into 18 would give me 10.8 so my total weighted average cost of capital would be 13.6 percent okay once i've got the value 
I can now easily apply that in my cost so that's 13.6 percent in all the cases it will be 13.6 percent once I get that the next step what I need to do is it is nothing but capital employed multiply by the cost of capital so I'll be multiplying 2 lakh into this 1 lakh into 1 lakh 50 into 13.6 1 lakh into 13.6 and 50,000 into 13.6 the value that we all should get is 27,200 20,400 13,600 and 6,800 this is my step number B once I get the A and B last step E V A is nothing but A minus B so that is net operating profit of tax minus capital employed into cost of capital which is actually the original formula okay so when you subtract the value will be 70,800 77,600 84,400 and last 91,200 okay so these are our final values of EVA okay I hope everyone have understood this okay so whenever they give you project life this is how you'll have to solve the sum based on EVA this is the third type of sum which was there in this particular chapter okay I hope everyone have understood this okay now we will be going ahead uh, with the next type so let us see what is the different the next different type which can come under EVA the type 4 sum is based on when risk free return and beta is given so in a question if you have a risk free return and beta this is what you will need to note down if risk free return uh, rate and beta is given cost of equity ka formula will be risk free return plus beta into market return minus risk free return so this is the formula that you will have to note down because when risk free return and beta is given they won't give you cost of capital and we will have to find cost of capital so now let us see how to use this particular formula from the problem sum point of view ok now let us see the very next type of sum ok uh, we'll just go through the question once uh, the following information is available of docomo limited calculate the eva 12 percent debt capital equity capital reserve and surplus have been given capital employed is also given to us directly so we don't have to find that risk free rate beta factor uh, market rate of return operating profit after tax operating profit after tax is nothing but net operating profit after tax so that is also given to us and tax rate so whenever risk free rate is given in the question and the you know beta uh, beta factor is given to us let us see how to solve such kind of sum in order to find the EVA they have already given you capital employed they have already given you net operating profit after tax so basically we need to only find cost of capital here okay so my very first step here very first step will be cost of okay the very first step will be cost of capital now in order to find cost of capital we will have to make a, a tabular format okay in which we will have our sources we will have the amounts of our sources we will have our weights we will have the cost percent and WACC okay very first thing we note down our sources now in a question if you look carefully there is debt there is equity and then there is reserves so all the three things are given so I'll write your debt we have equity and we have reserves next column is amount ok under amount we have debt as 2000 equity as 500 and reserve as 7500 we total it up we get the value as 7, 8, 10 next we need to get the weights 2000 upon 10,000 is 0 0.2 500 upon 10,000 is 0 0.05 and 7.5 and is 0 0.75 next we need to get the cost percent now if you look in, uh, into the question uh, they have given us 12% debt and they have also given us tax rate so first thing what I need to find is 
cost of debt that will be interest into 1 minus the tax rate so interest was 12 percent okay so 12 percent minus 1 into tax is 0 0.3 so that will become 12 into 0 0.7 which comes to 8.4 percent that's cost of debt so i'll write this as 8.4 percent Next, I need to find for equity and reserve. Now, always remember, whenever they are giving you risk-free and beta, the KE ka formula will become risk-free return plus beta into market return minus risk-free return. Question may risk-free return given as 9%. So, I'll take this as 9%. Plus beta given as 0 point, sorry, 1.05. So I'll take that as 1.05. The market return is given to me as 19% and risk free is again 9%. So 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 now here in this case when you add up, okay. So I'll keep this 9% as 9% plus 19 minus 9 is 10. 10 into 1.05 will be 10.5%. When you add up, I get the value as 19.5%. So my cost of equity 19.5%. 5% so if my equity 19.5 my reserves will also be 19.5 last step WACC 0 0.2 into 8.4 gives you 1.68% 0 0.05 into 19.5 gives you 0 0.975% and last when you multiply you get 14.625% you add up add up comes to around 17.28% Okay, very important. We found our weighted average cost of capital. Once we do that, we come to our next step, our last step basically. EVA is net operating profit after tax minus capital employed into cost percentage or cost of capital ka percent. So your net operating profit after tax now see if you look into a question, second last statement is given operating profit after tax 2100 crores. It's already given to us. So we'll directly take it as 2100. Capital employee, if you look in the question, is given as 10,000. I take it as it is. Into cost percent, which we have already found 17.28%. So 2100, okay, minus 10,000 into 17.28 will give you 1728. When you subtract it, I will get final answer as rupees 372 crores. Okay, so this is how you are allowed to find the value of EVA when they are basically giving you the risk-free return and the beta returns. Again, very simple. You just have to remember when you all have to use what formulas and what format. Okay, I hope everyone have understood that this was uh, the very fourth type of sum under EVA. Okay, now let us go ahead and see what other types are available, uh, what other variations can be available under the topic EVA. Okay, the last type of sum which can be asked under EVA is when financial leverage is given. So when financial leverage is given, okay, you have to use financial leverage formula which is EBIT upon EBT. Then EBT will get split up in EBIT minus interest. And then after cross multiply, we can find EBIT and then EBIT is nothing but you know, it will become your net operating profit before interest and tax. Once you get net operating profit before interest and tax, you can minus tax, you will get net operating profit after tax. And thereafter, you can use the normal formula to get all other values. So now let us see uh, what kind of sum can be asked when financial leverage is given in order to find EVA. Okay, now let us see how to solve the very fifth type of sum or variation. Okay, now in the question they are giving you from the following information, compute EVA of TCS Limited, assume 35% tax rate, equity share capital is 1000 lakh, 12% uh, debenture is 500 lakhs, cost of equity is given to us and financial leverage is given. So this variation is based on financial leverage. Okay, whenever financial leverage is given, how to calculate EVA? So let us see that. So the very first step, since financial leverage is given, we will start the sum with the help of financial leverage only. We will be using financial leverage. So we'll write here financial leverage is equal to EBIT 
upon EBT. That's the formula of financial leverage. Okay. Now we further know that uh, now in the question financial leverage, uh, the degree of financial leverage given to us as 1.5. So what I'll write here below financial leverage, I'll write this at 1.5 is equal to EBIT upon now EBT can be specifically written as EBIT minus interest and we can easily find the value of interest since see in the question is they are given us uh, debentures 12% debenture uh, the amount is 500 lakhs so 500 into 12% will give you 60 that is nothing but interest so I can write this as 1.5 is equal to EBIT upon EBIT less 60 okay we will cross multiply and try to find the value of EBIT okay so if I cross multiply I get this as 1.5 multiply by EBIT minus 60 is equal to EBIT so 1.5 into EBIT is 1.5 EBIT and 1.5 into 60 is negative 90 is equal to EBIT I get all the EBIT on one side number on the other side so I'll get 1.5 EBIT minus EBIT that is 1 EBIT is equal to minus 90 when it goes to the other side it will become plus 90 so here this will become 0 0.5 EBIT is equal to 90 so finally EBIT will be 90 divided by 0 0.5 which comes to 180 I got the value of EBIT EBIT is nothing but net operating uh, profit before interest and tax. So I can use this as net operating profit before interest and tax which is 180 less tax will give you my answer as net operating profit after tax which I require. Now tax given in the question is 35%. So 180 into 35% is 63. I subtract it and I will get the value of my net operating profit after tax which is 117 okay in lakhs 117 lakhs so this is how you all have to solve when financial leverage is given with the help of financial leverage find EBIT that is nothing but net operating profit before interest in tax less tax will give you net operating profit after tax I got the net operating of profit after tax secondly we need to find the capital employed now in this case our idea step number two we need to get capital employed in the question they have already given you equity and debentures so equity which is 1000 lakhs and debentures which is 500 lakhs so total is 1500 lakhs okay so capital employed is 1500 lakhs third we need cost of capital so cost of capital now let us see again in order to find cost of capital we need a tabular format okay format so we have sources we'll have the amount we'll have the weights we'll have the cost percent and weighted average cost of capital so under sources we have equity and debt given to us so I'll write here debt and equity the amounts are debt is 500 and equity is 1000 okay we, so the total is 1500 we need to get the weights so 500 upon 1500 is 0 0.33 so the other one will become 0 0.67 we need the cost percentage now equity they have directly given to us as cost of equity is 20% so we'll take that value as 20. Now debt is also directly given to us as 12% but since uh, tax is available here so we'll have to find KD. So KD will be interest into 1 minus the tax so 12 into 1 minus 0 0.35 when you get it we get the value as 7.8%. So I'll take that as 7.8% you multiply we will get it as weighted average cost of capital so 0 0.33 into 7.8 is 2.574 per
परसेंट एंड थर्टीन पॉइंट फोर परसेंट ओके वेन यू एड अप ओके द वैल्यू दैट यूल शुड गेट इज फिफ्टीन पॉइंट नाइन सेवन फोर परसेंट ओके दिस इज हाउ वी हैव टू सॉल्व कॉस्ट ऑफ कैपिटल नाउ वी हैव गॉट ऑल द थ्री वैल्यूज वंस आई गेट ऑल द थ्री वैल्यू वी कैन गेट द फाइनल आंसर एज ईवीए EVA is equal to net operating profit after tax minus capital employed into cost person. So net operating profit after tax is one one seven minus capital employed is fifteen hundred into cost percentage, which is fifteen point nine seven four percent. Okay. So once I you know we apply it, we will get this as one hundred and seventeen minus now this for some. Where the when you multiply, you getting the value as two thirty nine point six one, which is more than the net operating profit. So you're going to get here basically a negative EVA. So it is a bad decision to invest in such kind of a company. Okay, now this is in lakhs. So negative one hundred and twenty two point six one lakhs is your EVA. Okay, so this is how you have to solve the sum when they give you financial leverage. Okay, so these were all the variations which can, which can come usually in the sum based on EVA. We are taking all five different types of variation that you all can get in your examination point of view. Okay, see that everyone notes down all the formulas, notes down all the steps, and try solving it as as much as possible. Okay, so I hope everyone have understood all these five variation under EVA. With that, we will be ending this video here. Thank you.